Hello everyone, my name's Alex and I'm a physiotherapist from Physiofunction and I'm going to be taking this level three different strokes exercise class today. So this is going to be our week three of working on sit to stand. So the last couple of weeks we have gone over some tasks um, and exercises to try and strengthen up our legs and improve our ability to get up out of a chair. So if you're just joining us today for the first time, what I would recommend doing is after this class, going back and checking out the class from a couple of weeks ago, where we did a test of how many sit to stands we could do in one minute. What I would also say would be a great thing to do if you were with me last week and I set you the challenge of being of trying to do either this class a couple of times or going back and doing um, one of our previous classes another couple of times. I set that challenge to you again this week. So try and aim to complete this class or another one of our sit to stand or alternative classes another two times at least this week. So. Firstly as well, to get started, so the level three classes, they're designed for individuals who may have some restricted movement in their upper limb, but have fairly good movement in their affected lower limb. This class is going to be a combination of sitting and standing exercises. So making sure you've got a sturdy chair that you can use for the seated exercises, and then for the standing exercises, it is a requirement that you have something sturdy to hold on to. So this could be a kitchen bench um, or a sturdy upright chair. And it is also required that you have somebody available to supervise you as needed. Okay, so the class today is going to start with a warm up in sitting. Okay, we are then going to go on to some technique work again and then into a circuit of exercises working on, ex working on strengthening our leg muscles. Um, so what we'll do is we'll get started in a moment. So little notes for the class today. Now chair height, that will have an impact on how easy you find it to stand up and sit down. So pick a height that's going to be challenging but achievable, okay? So the higher the chair, the easier it is to stand up. What we're going to do as well, next week we're going to be doing our retest of our one minute sit to stand. So we, this week we're not going to do that, but then it's, um, it'll be really nice for us to have a little look and see um, if we've improved our ability, if we've managed to achieve a couple more reps in that minute. So that's our ultimate aim. So let's get started then, because I've been babbling on long enough. <laughs> and let's start doing some marching in our chair. So swinging those arms and legs and trying to get yourself moving. Now if you've got restricted movement in your arm, you can hold your hands together to do the movement. Try and think about moving at the shoulders. Really nice. It's also useful to make sure you've got a drink nearby. So please um, take drinks as needed, keep yourself hydrated. And also if you need to pause and rest, please do work at your own pace. I want it to be challenging, but like I said, achievable. So I'll try and provide modifications for the exercises. Um, okay, we're just gonna go to heel taps. <laughs> so I want you to pick something that again is challenging for you, but is achievable. Lovely, try and tap those heels as best you can, lifting up those knees. Well done. Lovely. Keep it going. Good, now we're gonna do some arm reaches across. So again, if you have some difficulty moving your arm, you could just try and move at the shoulder on your affected side, moving as much as you can, or you could hold your hands together and reach side to side. So pick an option that works for you. Remembering your good posture. Really lovely, everybody. 
If you can, let's go a little bit higher. Again, if this is difficult, you're just moving within your limits. And this could just be doing the movement with your unaffected side, okay? So picking whichever option works for you. Bad. Now let's do some shoulder rolls backwards, one at a time. Nice big rolls. Really good. Really get those arms moving, get everything loosened up and warm. Lovely, let's change direction. Arms moving forwards. Awesome work. Lovely. And stop there, okay. We're gonna do some arm openings now. So with your right arm, I want you to try and open up to the side, turning and following with your head and shoulders, and then back to the middle, and then to the left, back to the middle. Now again, on your, um, on your affected side, if you have difficulty with your movement, I want you to just think about leading the movement with your shoulder and turning your body to look over, moving your arm as able. So turning, the main focus here is turning at the body and turning at the head. And you're feeling that rotation in your waist. Lovely. Really nice, let's do one more each way. Last one. Lovely. Okay, we're just going to do one final thing where we're going to do some stretches for our legs. So I want you to pop your right leg out in front of you. So sit towards the edge of the chair. I'm going to turn my chair to the side just to demonstrate. So leg out straight, one leg bent. We're going to do some scooping down. Okay, so make sure you're nice and steady. Keeping your back straight, scoop up and down. Scoop down and up rather, not up and down. <laughs> down and up. So you should feel a little stretch in your hamstring muscles. So they're the muscles at the back of the straight leg. So keeping that back straight, keep that head up. Lovely. Let's do one more here, forward and up, and we're gonna change legs. So we're going to straighten the left leg out, right leg bent, sit nice and tall, down and up. Lovely. Down and up, good. Really nice, keep that head and that chest up. Let's do one more here. And lovely, right, okay. So, we're going to move into our technique section of the class today. So, in this technique section, it's gonna carry on a little bit from last week with a few little tweaks and changes. So, we're working on our ability to bend forward so that we can get our weight over our feet in order to stand up. And we're also going to work on our ability to load and put weight through your affected lower limb. So the first one we're going to do is a trunk lean. So leaning forward, so getting your weight over your feet. So for this exercise, I want you to make sure that your feet are even underneath you and back behind your knees. What we're going to do first is we're going to lean our body forward. So get the weight going down through your legs. Now I want you to feel where the weight is and try and make sure the weight is as even as possible. So we're coming forward over our feet. And then what we're gonna try and do if we can, we're gonna try and do a little bottom lift, okay? So the bottom lift should feel natural as the next part. So if you lean your weight far enough forward over your knees, you should feel like your bottom wants to come up off the chair. If you feel like it's a real effort, then it might be that you need to bring your weight a bit further over your feet. 
So I'm going to turn to the side. And what we're going to do is we're going to practice this for 90 seconds. Now, if you can, have your arms crossed on your chest to really try and get the feeling of bringing your weight forwards and off the chair. If that's a little bit tricky for you, you could have your arms out in front and you could have a chair or a table or something in front of you to try and um, give a bit of confidence and reassurance because it can be a bit nerve wracking sometimes coming forward when you've got nothing there. So what you could do is have your arms out in front. You could think about reaching for the table or the chair in front of you and do a little bottom lift here. Now just try not to pull on um, the object that's in front of you, okay? Think more about bringing your weight forward and over your feet. Finally, if this is still a bit challenging, you could have a little readjustment and look at the height of your chair. So it might be that you need to raise it up a little bit or put a cushion underneath your bottom to make it a bit easier or you could use your hands, but I want you to try and use your hands as little as possible and avoid not holding on. So we're thinking about pushing and just bringing ourselves up and down, okay? So we're gonna go for 90 seconds. I'm gonna set my stopwatch. That ready. So pick whichever option you're choosing to do and we'll get started. Off we go. So we're leaning forward over our feet and pushing equally and then coming back down. So not pausing, just forward over the feet, lifting the bottom and then back down. Or as well, arms out in front of you is the other option. And then back down. And again, lean forward, nose over toes, lift that bottom off the chair and back down. Again, you might need to keep rechecking your feet to make sure they're back behind your knees. Forward and back down. Lovely. And again, lean forward and back down. Or final option, if you have um, some RS on your chair, you could lightly use these to bring yourself forward and back, but try not to grip. Forward and back down. Keep that head looking up in front of you and back down. We're thinking of this as being nice and controlled. And back down. Really nice, everyone. You've only got 20 seconds left. Forward and back down. Really good. Feel the weight going evenly through those legs. Forward and back down. Really nice. Let's do one more. Forward and back down. Fantastic. Okay. Next exercise. So last week we practiced loading um, the affected side. So what we're going to do this week, we're going to do similar. So we're going to practice getting our weight over the affected leg. But what we're going to do is we're going to see if we can get a little bottom lift while doing this. And if you can do that, we're going to try and hold it. So different options for you. So option number one. Have your affected leg slightly back and your unaffected leg slightly forward. I want you to think about leaning your weight over your affected leg and pushing it down into the ground. Okay, so that's option one, which is what we did last week. So we're leaning over the affected leg, pushing it into the ground as if we're gonna try and lift our bottom and then we're gonna come back. Option two is you do the forward lean over your affected leg, push down, but lift your bottom up, and then come back down, okay? So lean forward over your affected leg, lift, and back down. Option three is a hold. So we're gonna come forward over the affected leg, hold, two, three, and down, okay? So they're the different options. So pick whichever one you would like to work on. Again, you could do the three options with your arms. So you could have your arms here or here in front, working on it, you could have them out in front of you, but just make sure you're focusing on bringing your weight over your affected leg and not your unaffected leg, or using your hands on the chair. Again, focusing, the main focus of this is putting weight down through your affected leg. Okay, 90 seconds, off we go. So remember, option one is leaning forward and pushing your affected leg into the ground and then coming back. 
Count for three to five seconds. Lean forward, push your effective leg into the ground, and then back. Or if you want to try it, we are leaning forward and pushing your effective leg into the ground and lifting bottom up and then down. This really works on effective side. So leaning forward, pushing up and then down. Really nice. Forward, up and then down. Or if you want to add a bit of extra spice and challenge, we're holding it. So we're coming forward, we're pushing up, hold, two, three, and down. Remembering various positions for the arm, so they could be on the arm rest. One, two, three, and down. So pick whichever one and work within, work on that for the rest of the time. Really nice, got 20 seconds left. So if you're holding, remember count two, three, and down. Really lovely. And again, forward, two, three, and down. Let's do one more. You should be feeling this in your affected leg. One, two, three, and down. Fantastic. Get yourselves a drink if you need one. We've got one more exercise in our um, technique work. And again, it's another one to focus on loading your affected leg and getting used to having weight on it so that when we come to practice our stands up and sit downs again, you're going to be um, more aware of making sure your affected leg is working equally with your unaffected side. Okay, so the last one we're gonna do is in standing. So I just want you to make your way up into a standing position, holding on to a sturdy surface. Okay, so that could be the bench or it could be your chair. So I'm just gonna show you facing you, but you can pick, you could have, stand with both of your hands on your supporting surface to, surface to do this. Um, but I'm just gonna show you facing forward just so that you can see the exercise. So what we're going to try to do is bring your weight over your effective leg and back to the middle, okay? Bringing your weight over your affected leg and back to the middle. Now to make it a bit harder, you could bring your weight over your affected leg and lift your heel and then come back to the middle, okay? So we're just practicing again, bringing weight over towards your affected side. So we're gonna go for 90 seconds again. Okay, I'm gonna set my stopwatch and off we go. So you're gonna bring your weight over your affected side Keep your leg nice and strong, squeeze your bottom, keep nice and tall, and then back to the middle. And again, bring your weight over your affected side, stand nice and tall. Now you could have your, um, your assistant standing on that side so that you could practice bringing your hip towards them, or alternatively, you could have a chair or a bench on your affected side to use as a marker. So bringing your weight towards the chair, and then if you can, lifting up your heel and then back again. This can be a nice way of using a cue, okay? Trying to keep your hip over, touching the bench or the chair, holding, two, three, and back. Again, holding your weight over your affected side. Feel the weight going down through that side, keeping nice and strong and tall, and back. Really lovely. And again, bring your weight over your effective side, remembering to grow tall, squeeze your bottom, draw your tummy in, and then back. Lovely. Let's do a couple more. Bring your weight over, keep nice and tall, squeeze, and then back. Good, one more. Weight over and squeeze, and then back. Fantastic. Okay, get yourselves a drink. We're gonna start our circuit now. So most of these exercises are going to be in a standing position, but I will provide um, some variations for you, okay? So the idea of these exercises is to work the big muscles in your legs that are going to help you stand up in a, um, in a more efficient and easier way, okay? So the first exercise we're going to do 
is a side step and a squat. So holding on to a support. Now this could be a chair or something in front of you. I'm just gonna show you the exercise facing the camera, but I would like you to do this with support as needed, okay? So we're going to do a step out and a squat and back in, and then step the other way and squat and back in. Now, if that's a bit challenging for you, I would like you just to practice your squatting. So practicing squatting up and down, okay? You could, if you wanted to, add a little, you could do separately, do, a, do some of them stepping one way, um, doing your squat and then doing a little side step each way, so that's an option. Um, but pick whatever works for you. Alternatively, just practicing your squats, okay? So we're gonna do that for the first minute and then I'll go on to the other exercises. So, just get my stopwatch ready. We're gonna go for one minute, side step and squat, or just squatting. Now you can have a chair behind you for this for safety if you want to, or just give yourself a target. So that would look like, that would look like this. Okay, so that's an option to give you a target to aim your bottom for. So in one minute, off we go. If we're just squatting, we're aiming chair, bottom back to chair, or we're stepping to the left, little squat, up, back to the middle. Step to the right, squat, up, back to middle. Keep your head looking forward, left, down, up, back to the middle. Step to the right, down, up, back to the middle. Really nice. Left, squat, bottom back, up, back to the middle. Nice and controlled. Right, squat, up, back to the middle. Working at your own pace. Squat, up, back to the middle. Right, squat, up, back to the middle. Fantastic. Okay, next exercise we're going to do is a split squat. So, similar to what we did um, in our warm up. What I will say is maybe if you, have a chair, if you have a chair behind you, it can be a nice way of getting a target, um, having a target for your bottom. I want you to stand one leg slightly in front of the other. Now we are going to do both legs, okay? So what we'll do this round, you can pick one leg and then the next round, just make sure you change your leg. So let's start with your affected leg back and your unaffected side forward. Okay, holding onto your support, we're going to squat bottom back to chair and back up. So that's a good option for you. If you wanted to make it a bit more challenging, what you could do is you could practice standing up and sitting down in this position. So affected leg back, unaffected leg forward, we're standing up and we're sitting down. So, hands out in front, or hands on the chair, okay? So there are your two options. So we're gonna go for one minute, we're gonna have affected leg back, unaffected leg forward, off we go. We're doing little squats, trying to keep your weight down through that affected side. The unaffected side is taking a little bit of weight, but it shouldn't be doing most of the work. If you're doing your sit to stands in this way, we're here. Okay? So pick whichever option you choose. Working at your own pace. Really nice, everyone. Lovely, let's do one more. And stop there. Lovely. 
have a little rest and a drink. Okay, the last exercise we're going to do is sit to stands. So, what we're going to do here is again, like we did last week, we are practicing just the movement of getting up from your chair and then standing, sitting back down. So, if you can, I would like you to try and find a height of the chair that you can work with where you don't have to use your hands, okay? If this isn't an option for you, you could practice again with your arms out and something in front so you'll come and reach to come up. Or if you need to, you're using your hands from the chair, but if you can, try not to use them on the way down. So pick the option that works for you. Most importantly, I want you to be safe, okay? And we're going to go for one minute. And then what we're gonna do, have a little rest after this, and we're gonna repeat everything again. <laughs> okay, so off we go. Standing up, sitting down. Now try and make sure, remember, weight forward over toes to come up, squeeze your bottom at the top, and then down. So remember, all we've been practicing, really make sure that your affected leg is working. So we're aiming for feet to be even, legs to be working equally. Really nice. Lovely, everybody. And again, off we go. Really nice. Fantastic, let's keep it going. Really nice, so you're working at your own pace. Remember using your arms if you need. Fantastic, okay. Get yourselves a drink. We're gonna do that circuit one more time and then we'll be moving into our cool down. So with this time, with the lunges, if you can do it again with your affected leg back, I will get you to do that. If you're feeling like your affected leg is getting quite tired, then we will alternate it so you're, you're, using, um, you're putting your unaffected side backwards. So um, tune in with how you're feeling, okay? So what we're going to do now, we're gonna get ready in a moment to start with the first exercise. So the first exercise is back up in standing. It's the side step and squat, changing direction. Remember, if that's a bit too challenging, we are just doing the squats. Okay, adding in a little side step if you want to in the middle. Okay, so off we go. Side step, squat, up. Back to the middle, other way. Squat, up, back to the middle. This is a challenging exercise because it's working on your ability to move your weight over each leg, whilst also working on these thigh and bottom muscles, which are really important when getting yourself up out of a chair. So keep working at your own pace, side, squat, up, together, side, squat, up, together, lovely, well done everyone. Last one, and together, well done. Okay, up to our split squat, so remember if you can again, I will get you to work with your affected leg back and your unaffected leg forward. So either doing your squats, or if you want an extra challenge, working on your stand up and sit downs in this position, really working on that affected leg. If that is just a bit much for you at the moment and you need a lift to give this leg a little bit of a rest because it's done a lot of work, then you could swap round so you have your unaffected leg forward, your affected leg forward, sorry, and your unaffected leg back, and do your little squats in this position. Trying to make sure your weight here is even through both of your legs, okay? 
So they're the options for you. So we're going to go for a minute again. Pick whichever one you choose. Off we go. So if your affected leg is back, I want you to really try and use this leg as much as possible. If you've chosen to go the other way, I want you to think about the weight being a bit more even through your feet. Really lovely. So keeping that head up, making sure you're sticking that bottom back towards the chair. Really lovely. You're nearly there. You've all done ever so well. Legs have had a very good workout. <laughs> nice, everyone. 15 seconds left. Remember, working at your own pace, nice and controlled. Good. Let's do one more here. And stop there. Fantastic. Get yourselves a drink if you need one. We're going to come into our last exercise, which is our sit to stands. So, last exercise, last push. Finding your chair. Okay, remember if you can, we're working without our hands. All right, so try and find a height of a chair that allows you to do this. Otherwise, if you need your hands lightly for balance, please utilize that as well to make sure you're safe. Okay, whenever you're ready, we're gonna get going. So in three, two, one, off we go. Standing up and sitting down, making sure those feet are even underneath you. Both legs are working. Nice and powerful on the way up and control on the way down. Another thing to note is to try and make sure that your knees don't knock inwards. Try and keep them over your toes. Fantastic. You're over halfway. Just keep working at your own pace. Really nice, everyone. You're doing fantastic. Oh, let's try and get out one more. And rest. Fantastic, well done. We're gonna do a short cool down now, okay? And then we're all done. Absolutely well done for today. So, really good thing to do is to try and either repeat this class another two times, go back and do one of the other sit to stand class, another couple of times so we can really get the most out of the exercises to help improve your sit stand. Um, it's really nice as well, although these classes only run once a week, there's a massive backlog of exercises on um, the Different Strokes YouTube page and the Facebook page. So please have a little look at those and um, they give you a great resource that you can, so a way, easier ways of you um, popping these into your week and accessing them whenever suits you. So, we're going to come back up into standing for our stretches. So, I want you to stand in front of your support. Okay? So, once you've made your way to standing, I want you to start with your right leg forward and your left leg back. Okay? Keep your chest up and I want you to bend your right knee. So, keep your back leg straight and you should feel a stretch in your calf muscle. We're just going to hold that there. Keep breathing, keep your chest up. Really nice. And feel very proud of yourself for doing the class. Lovely. We're going to change legs now. So we're going to have our right leg back and our left leg forward. We're going to bend our left knee until we feel a stretch in our right calf muscle. Hold that there. Nice big breaths. Really lovely. And then we're going to come back. Okay, this time what we're going to do, we're going to put our right foot forward 
and step our left leg back a little bit. I want you to bend both of your knees. Now I want you to think about squeezing your bottom on the back leg. So squeezing your bottom to push your hips forward to feel a bit of a stretch down the front of that thigh. Now you might need to take a slightly bigger step back. Make sure your knees nice and bent and just really squeeze your bottom, keep your chest up to feel a stretch down the front of that leg. Okay, we're gonna hold that one there. Really lovely. Good, big breath. And then we're gonna change legs. So left leg forward, right leg back. Both knees soft. Squeeze your right bottom. Keep your chest up. Feel that stretch down the front of that right thigh. Think about your hip bones moving forward, but your knee moving slightly back. That's lovely. Good. And then relax. You make your way back down to your chair. We're just going to do a hamstring stretch. So I want you to pop your left leg out straight, have your right leg bent. Sit nice and tall. And then you're gonna lean forward, keeping your back straight until you feel a stretch down the back of that straight leg. Hold that there. Take some nice big breaths in and out. Really nice. Fantastic. And then we're gonna change legs. Right leg out. Sit nice and tall, left leg bent, hands on the bent knee, lean forward, hinging at your hips, keeping your back straight. Hold that there for a stretch. Feel the stretch down the back of your straight leg. Nice breaths. Lovely. Okay, give yourselves a round of applause. Well done. Thank you again for joining me for this level three different strength exercise class today. Um, please give us a thumbs up if you've done the class and you've enjoyed it. We always welcome feedback, so please leave a comment below if you have any to give us. Um, also, if there's anything you would like um, to see in any of these classes or anything in particular you would like to work on, please either leave a comment or you can send a direct message to the Different Strokes group. Thank you again for joining me and I look forward to seeing you all next week. Take care. Bye.